should probably tune in. <laughs> that low B. It's so intense. What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and as you can clearly see, I got a bass guitar. This specifically is a purchase that I've been wanting to make for quite some time now. For those of you guys out there who might not know, I've been playing guitar for over 10 years. I know a lot of you guys have come from my other channels where you're seeing me play video games all the time, but really, music truly is my passion. I would take it over video games any day. I know that might not seem apparent because you're mostly seeing me upload video game videos to YouTube in the first place, but my YouTube channel actually started with me posting guitar videos nonstop, so. And with this third channel, I'm trying to be more musically involved. But yeah, enough of the history lesson. Let's talk about this bass. So this bass I picked up is an Ibanez SR505. I decided to go for five strings instead of four because, well, a lot like seven string and seven plus string guitars, you're eventually going to upgrade, so you might as well make it early on. That way you don't have to spend for a second or third bass later down the road. I'm not gonna go super heavy on the specs, just know that it's a five string, it has 24 frets. And I also picked up this Fender Rumble 40 watt, which can get surprisingly loud. I really dig the amp. But as far as it goes for all of the EQ options on this guitar and on the amp, I've got a lot of learning to do. And in general, the bass guitar is brand new for me. So if you guys have any helpful tips, if you're a bass player, or if there's any useful YouTube videos you can link me, then make sure to leave a comment and just essentially save me from being horrible at bass. <laughs> First impressions of really playing bass for the first time is, is really just how thick the strings are and how wide the frets are. What would normally be a pretty easy stretch on a regular electric guitar is really hard on bass. I'm finding that at the lower frets, it's easier to use your pinky finger instead of your ring finger to pretty much play anything, I don't know. So I'm definitely gonna have to get adjusted to that. Another one of the big challenges that I've been having to overcome is just the intervals. So this is a five string bass and I have it currently tuned to B, E, A, D, and G. So the interval change between each string is a fourth. If that's not totally making sense, it's very apparent when you go to tune your strings like this. Because that interval that you're playing from the open string to the fifth fret is a fourth, which is a pretty commonly used technique to be able to tune a guitar. Except on a standard electric guitar, you get to a point where you have to play like a major third. And if there was a sixth higher string on this bass guitar, I would be having a tune like this, where I play major third instead of a fourth. But yeah, it's one of those things that really shouldn't bug me and it shouldn't bother me too much when I'm playing, but it's just all those years of muscle memory. You get accustomed to a certain way of playing in the higher register on guitar, and then when you can't play that way on bass, it just really throws you off. So yeah, that's another really common thing that I've noticed when playing bass for the short amount of time that I have been playing. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I really think that one of the biggest obstacles that I'm going to have to climb is the right hand playing. I do a little bit of finger style stuff on electric guitar and acoustic, but I don't feel like it's going to translate as well over to bass. I feel like if you were to develop those skills first on bass and then play guitar, it wouldn't be as bad, but trying to do it the other way around is not as easy. But it's really interesting though, because that's kind of what really got me into wanting to get a bass so soon in the first place. YouTube started randomly recommending me videos from Toast and Abasi, and I had heard of him before, but I really hadn't heard too much of his music. And YouTube was linking me videos about his play style, and it was amazing. His picking technique on guitar is just insane. He has mentioned multiple times that Victor Wooten is what really inspired that whole technique, but he brought it over to guitar instead of bass. And of course, Victor Wooten is an amazing bass player and I'd seen him before. And it really just kind of snowballed my interest and here I am with a bass guitar now. And let's not forget that Billy Sheenan is just, he's insane at bass. And Billy Sheenan has played and toured with Steve Vai before, so that's how I ended up hearing about him. It's kind of awkward for me to get a good angle, but I'm trying to show this whole picking technique. You essentially downstroke and upstroke with your thumb to create this kind of a sound. which can allow you to play some pretty fast stuff. I'm not that good at it, but. I can't get the clarity out of the notes. I've got to work on it more. But on top of what I just attempted to show you, you can also throw in like picking with your pointer, middle and ring fingers too, but it adds a whole nother dimension of difficulty.
As you can probably tell, there's different rhythms associated with different parts of that technique. I'm not going to pretend like I know everything about this technique or that I'm a master of it, but I would assume that you can do some pretty steady eighth note stuff by doing the up and down technique. You could do triplets by incorporating the pointer too. And if you're aiming for like 16th note stuff, you could do the up down with the thumb and then the pointer and the middle finger too. But I'm not even going to attempt to try to like throw my ring finger into the mix yet. I honestly can't even play any part of this technique up to a decent speed or with any clarity, but I'm really looking forward to practicing and trying to get better at it. I'm going to commit the cardinal sin and play with a pick. <laughs> I'm just cheating. <laughs> That's just cheating. kind of just goofing around at this point, so I think I'm just gonna stop the video short here. I do want to apologize for not getting the Gem versus JS guitar video out this week because, well, this whole thing actually surprised me. I was not expecting to get the bass guitar this soon, and I figured, why not? This is a pretty cool video to make. It's a completely new experience in music for me, and I'm really excited to try to get better at it. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed really my first time playing bass guitar. If you guys would like to see me play any other kinds of instruments, make sure to leave a comment. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you'd like to see some more music videos, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys later.